Hey, what's up everyone? Jelani here. Welcome to the next video of Product Research Mastery where I'm going to show you guys Ecom Hunt. Okay, so this is get ready to get your mind blown, right? Um, I use this website every single day, right? It's amazing. <laughs> it's kind of similar to Thieve.co, which, you know, I started using this when no one really knew about it. Before it was paid, um, it was a free service, but now it's $20 a month. Uh, but it's so worth the $20 a month. It's so awesome. Um, but before people were using this service i was like whoa like this is i kept it on the dl right i was like no one needs to know about this but then once they started to integrate the paid features i was like all right well i'll tell people about it so i wanted to tell you that it's amazing and you should get it okay so what it does is it literally puts the top products on this page right so all of these products are top products they have amazing engagement but what's cool about it is if i press show me the money um you're gonna see that you have the ability to see the ad right you have the ability to see the facebook ad you have the ability to see the store selling this item you have the ability to go on ebay amazon alibaba aliexpress so it makes life so much easier okay so if i want to look at this product right now i was like hmm, i could possibly sell this i could think i could do well um but you don't know the targeting it also gives you the targeting at least a standard basis like something very simplistic so that you can start right so if I click on Facebook ad, it's going to show me the ad. All right. So cool. If I click on store selling this item, it shows me the store. Now I use, I use Ecom Hunt to look at the products. Don't get me wrong. I look at every single one of these products that they post and they update it daily usually. But what I do, and I'm going to, I'm going to, this is a little secret guys. This is something that's going to blow your mind. What I use it for is to look at the stores that are selling the items. Okay. Let me repeat that. I look at the individual stores for each one of these items. I scroll down and there's 12 pages. So there's about over a hundred items on this, on this website. Right. And I look at every single store associated with these products. Why? Because they probably have more products on there. And I want to check them out, right? I want to look at their products. So I use it as a spying tool. So what I would do here, for the, for example, Dale Archer is an amazing, amazing way using website. Uh, they do lots of volume. And I want to sort by best selling, okay? I want to look at the products that are doing really well, right? And of course, some of these websites are, you know, most of these websites are on Shopify, if not all of them. And sometimes they'll have some bits of JavaScript um, hiding their best sellers, right? And how you get across that is you just go to develop. If you're on Safari, go to develop and just disable the JavaScript and then put in. Um, so if I go to best selling, put in this line of script. So I'm going to Google this really quickly because I forgot the line. But basically, um, best sellers, Shopify code. All right, so basically you sort it by best selling. So I think I'm just taking a gamble here. I think Dale Archer has that enabled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the develop, take off, disable JavaScript, and then put this here. All right. Oh, that's actually their best sellers. Okay, so they weren't trying to deceive me. This is actually what you know, the best sellers are. So this multi mist adjust adjustable garden holes, right? Um, and most of the time you'll see that the product listed on Ecom Hunt. So this mini portable perfume traveler is not going to be in their top products, right? It's not even on the first page. Okay. So that's that, you know, that's telling me that they do a lot of volume. Um, because if we go back to the ad, so if I click show me the money, if I go to the ad, you can see, Oh, I have to put JavaScript back on. Let me just turn that back on. If I go to the ad, you see here that it's, you know, there's 6,000, <clears> there's 600,000 views, right? Or 800,000 views. There's 6,000 likes, 1,000 shares, 1,000 comments, right? Um, so this this is an amazing company that's, you know, they're doing really well. Whoever owns the Archer is doing really well. But again, I just go to the different websites or different products and I just go to the store selling this item and I want to look at their products all right i want to look at their best sellers so i'm going to put that script in again here i'm going to give you guys the script as well and now i can see right i want to see blackhead eliminator is their third best seller um amazing magnetic eyelashes are their first best sellers <clears throat> um 
so they got some interesting products here. So this is what I'm talking about. Like going in and then looking at the stores that are selling different things so you can get some ideas, right? This is what it's about. It's about spying on your competition um, and looking at what they're doing and then try to get some inspiration and look at other products. Because some sometimes, guys, products that are in certain stores may not be a bestseller for them, but you can make it a bestseller for you, all right? So don't forget that, okay? Just because you see it on the last page of a, of a store doesn't mean it's not a good product. Maybe that company or maybe that person just didn't have the right targeting and you can get the right targeting for it, right? So let's go to collections um, slash all and put in our little script here and then sort by best sellers, all right? So these are their best sellers here. We got a wax vac ear cleaning device, um, anti-snoring chin strap, I've seen this before. Easy soda dispenser. These garden gloves I've sold before. So you can get some really good ideas. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get at. Is you can get some really good ideas. That, you know, uh, even in not using, um, you know, the websites I showed you before. Just going on these different stores, you can get some other ideas, and then cross reference it on Banggood, see if there's some other ideas on Banggood, you know, um, people who checked out this product might have checked out this product, right? So let me just go to this store's products, um, refresh it here, go home, and we're gonna go to choice slash collections slash, oh, oops, wrong one. All right, so this is their bestseller right here. The Tree of Life necklace. But they got some cool ideas here, okay? So let's go to another store. I don't like that store's design. It's too cluttered to me. Um, let's check out, let's go newest first, all. Let's check out this nonstick crop frying pan here. And guys, within my course, I actually give free access to this. So the people who have my course get my login and my password to Ecom Hunt so they don't have to pay the $20 a month, um, which is awesome. So if I click on this store, let's look at what they're selling here. I'll keep doing that. I'll take that double slash off so let's look at their top sellers here all right this is a good product the portable smoothie maker and then if i come back to ecom hunt you'll see that it's right here um oh it's not even on ecom hunt actually where did i see this I actually think I saw this on Banggood actually, but this is a really good product that I think will do really well, right? Um, just for the fact that you can just put your fruit in on the go if you're on, going to work, you know, going to school, put your fruit in, mix it up and drink it, right? So this is something that could do really well and it's, I think it's, it's on their first page. It might not do that well for them, but I think you know, like I said, it does it just because it's not selling for one person doesn't mean it won't sell for you. All right. And this person looks like they're using Ecom Hunt a lot because I see a lot of products that Ecom Hunt has. Um and they're just using it, it seems like. So Ecom Hunt has a lot of products, guys. Lots of products. And the guy who runs it is super cool, super awesome, um, really down to earth. He's a good guy. Oh, this is the mini camera that we saw on Banggood. Um, so like I was saying on Ecom Hunt, so it's twenty two dollars. The selling price is thirty eight. Let's check out the store that's selling it. So Daily Fast Deals is the one we, the page we were just on. Cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So. When you combine Ecom Hunt, when you combine Banggood, when you combine all the websites that showed you Thieve, uh, Canopy, Etsy, um, Shut Up and Take My Money, right? You're going to start getting so many ideas. And then once you understand what makes a good product, 
which is functionality, which is something cool. Anything that's cool, anything that's functional, boom. All right. And again, take yourself out of the equation. Take yourself out of the equation and think about what is going to be good for the customer. All right. This is the portable smoothie maker I was just talking about. So I did see it on Ecom Hunt. It was just fourth pages down. Like I said, guys, they update this so um, frequently. So see, see this ad here. Let's go check out this ad. This ad was posted on July 2nd. However, it didn't get that many. It didn't get that many comments. Okay, I only got 83 comments, 205 shares, not even a thousand likes. Um, so I don't know if this person might have not ran the ad long enough or they weren't getting sales on. Okay, it looks like it has good engagement. So I would honestly take advantage of this type of person, right? They probably didn't run it long enough. They probably saw the data and was like, eh, this is not working. But I think this product can do really well if you get it in front of the right people, all right? So sometimes, guys, again, just because it doesn't sell for one person doesn't mean it won't sell for you, okay? So go to Ecom Hunt. They do have a free option, but it's it's very, very limited, okay? So limited to the point where they, you only get two unlocks, so they lock all the products, and you only get two unlocks per day, and um, they only show, like, these, I think this one, this one, this one, anything that's posted within the same day is, you can't even see it, right? So people who are, who are on the free version have to wait three days before they see the products that was, that was posted three days prior, right? So it kind of gives the people who buy this service an advantage because they can run the ads first. They can start selling things first before the free people. So I honestly think this is one of the best services just because of the fact that it's updated periodically, like every day pretty much. And it, um, it gives you so many options in terms of spying, okay? spying 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 on your competition which is huge and such an advantage point and you have to do it in this game in order to succeed you can find products that are new right you can find products on thieve you can find products on etsy but ultimately you want to get your feet in on something that is has some social proof has sales right if you sell a product that's already selling you can sell it right so keep that in mind not saying that you shouldn't look for products the way i showed you before but definitely if you're just starting out, right? If you've just never done drop shipping before, you don't know what you're doing, this is my advice to you, okay? Number one advice, sell what's already selling, okay? I can say that again, I can say it a thousand times, and I tell my students this all day long, sell what's already selling, because if someone are, someone has um, you know, data there, has the proof on the ad, then you can do it too. You can definitely do it too. And in the next video, guys, I'm going to show you guys a tool that I use every day as well called Niche Miner to find those ads I'm talking about. Find those ads that have the social proof, have the sales aligned to the product, okay? So follow me there, guys. Use, use Ecom Hunt, though. Definitely get this service. I don't have an affiliate link. I don't have anything. I'm not, like, trying to sell it. It's just I think it's a really good product, okay? So follow me to the next video, guys. I'll see you guys there. That's it for today, guys. Tomorrow, there'll be a new video. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button so you know when that video drops. I know you probably want more and more information, um, but I want to take it really step by step and slow so you guys understand what I'm talking about. So if you want to see that video, subscribe, hit the alert button. I can't wait to see you there.